but yeah, I can I can jump in around you know what what I've done with SPACs. So Good, Brad. back back during the SPAC boom, which wasn't that long ago, it was like end of oh, last year, right? It's like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe six months ago. Um, you know, I was reading through corner of Berkshire and Fairfax. I saw a, a thread about you know these guys playing SPACs as cash alternatives, kind of with upside optionality if you can get them fairly close to nav. Um, so, you know, I bought Pershing Square. I only owned it for like a month, um, but, you know, it went up 5%. In that month, I, I sold it as it was starting to come back down. I got I got a little spooked. Um, I bought three of Chamath's SPACs, IPOD, E, and F. IPOE became SoFi. So when, when that merger was announced, I... It, it, I think it went up like 50%, maybe yeah, it, 60%. It's pretty massive. And so I pulled out my original capital and I, I'm just letting the rest kind of ride on SoFi. Okay. Um, and then Oak Tree, uh, I saw they had a pretty successful merger with Hims and Hers. Um, so they put out another SPAC, which was OACB, and I bought in around $10.00. To that one, so I'm still sitting on that. And then uh, Kosla Ventures uh, with Vinod Kosla in Silicon Valley. Uh, and some of the ways that I found these is looking at 13Fs from Seth Klarman and Daniel Loeb. Uh, they've been pretty involved in, in a number of these SPACs. So I would just see, okay, what are the you know, what are the value investors that I really respect buying in terms of SPACs? Which which deals are they getting in on? And, you know, that's that's some of how I, I decided which ones to to explore. But those are those are the six that I've actually put money into. And what what type of allocation do you have towards that basket of SPACs? It's it's pretty it's pretty tiny. I think it was like one percent or something. Yeah. Okay. yeah.